Hi, I'm Jeff. Let's talk about how to set up Jupyter with both Python 2 and 3 kernels. Assume we run Jupyter on the default Python 3 environment, which comes along with the operating system. In case we are not that familiar with the Jupyter Notebook command line, this command line instructs Jupyter Notebook to start and listen on local host port 8888. The no browser parameter prevents Jupyter to open a browser when it starts, which is useful when you run Jupyter Notebook server from a remote server. Now we can copy the URL to a browser. When this is done at the first time, Jupyter needs to do some initialization, which may take some time. When it finishes loading, we can check what kernels we have at this stage by click on the new button on the right hand side. And you can see only Python 3 is presented. Let's stop the Jupyter server and make some changes. Before we do so, we need to make sure the version of the Python package management tool pip is greater than 9 for now. Then we use pip to install IPython kernel under Python 2. When it's done, run IPython kernel under Python 2 to install a kernel to Jupyter. Remember the user parameter so that the kernel configuration will be saved under your own user environment. Now start Jupyter again. This time, we can find the Python 2 kernel under the new button. Let's verify those kernels. Click on the Python 3 kernel and open a new notebook using this kernel. We can see the notebook is really running from the default Python 3.6 environment. Then come back and click on Python 2 kernel to start a notebook using that kernel. In the same way, we can also verify the new notebook is running upon Python 2.7. Now we can deal with another scenario, the Anaconda distribution. I clean up the previous setup and activate the Conda environment. Same as before, we simply start Jupyter and verify the current kernel list.
Not surprisingly, only Python 3 kernel is there. Let's stop Jupyter Server and make some changes. We use the Conda package management tool to create a new Python 2.7 environment. Then activate the environment. Before we go ahead, we can double check the environment and make sure we are really running within Python 2.7. Finally, we run a similar command line to execute IPython kernel and install the kernel to the current user environment using the user parameter. We now finish the configuration under Python 2.7. Let's deactivate Python 2.7 and go back to the base environment and run Jupyter Server from there. We can see now both Python 2 and Python 3 are on the list. Let's try the Python 3 kernel first. It is Python 3.7 which is from Anaconda. and then Python 2 kernel. Apparently, we can verify this kernel too. Thank you very much for watching. See you.